Y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't. Y'all y'all don't understand the chaos. The 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 jam session, the havoc, the mayhem that goes in our heads, that goes on in our minds when we are trying to get you, shorty doop, lady of our dreams. It gets it, it gets real crazy up here. But we never show it. We try to keep it calm, collective. But in our heads, these are the things we go through. The, the, the things we think when we are trying to get you in the beginning stages. Now, it is important for y'all to understand this, right? Because not, not just that I'm talking about, and, and, and this channel is about understanding the mind of men, understanding the mentality and the mindset of men, but it's important for y'all to know this because then y'all can have some kind of compassion for us in, the, in these beginning stages of trying to get y'all in the pursuit of happiness and y'all being our happiness, meaning the pursuit of you. It gets crazy. So before I, I, try, I, I tell y'all some of the things, what, five or six things that we think that goes on our heads when we are pursuing you, I just want y'all to subscribe, all right? Do that simple thing, subscribe, so that other people other women could see these videos too and understand the mind of men as well. Like, comment, tell me what y'all think, tell me y'all stories, tell me y'all thoughts and assumptions on this as well, all right? So let's get straight into it. The first thing that a lot of us think, I won't say all, but a lot of us think is, why does she really like me? You see, there's a lot of intentions going on these days. This generation, both men and women, they're, they're different. It's, they're different up here, man. I don't know if it's in the water. I don't know if it's social media. I don't know what it is, but every generation changes and so does their mentality. So I say all that to say, this is a, a huge reason why we think on thinking what you think of us and why do you really like us? Because a lot of women can say, oh, I like you for this reason, you're a really nice guy or, or something like that, but what's your real reason? Because you're not gonna tell us in the beginning. You're not gonna tell us why you really like us in the beginning. Maybe you do, but mostly y'all don't. All right, let's just be real here. 115% transparency here, all right? Because, you know, I, I think I'm a pretty good guy. A lot of guys think they're pretty good guys. And we, we're talking about good guys here, right? Good men, decent men. But we're used to ourselves. So we're used to the things we do, the way we talk, the, 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 the way we do things for others. Like, we're used to that. I mean, you say you like those things, but uh, eh, it's not really convincing. So we, we, we tend to ask ourselves, why does she really like me? Those things could be good and bad, but we're wondering these things. Not saying it's a right thing to think, but I'm trying to tell you what we think. We're wondering these things. Especially for some men who think the woman that they're talking to or, or you know pursuing is out of their league, but somehow she likes them. There's a lot of men who think that. And if you didn't know, there's a lot of insecure men out there. They just won't tell you. So they put on this front and whatever the case to cover up their insecurity, but trust and believe in their minds, in these insecure men, their minds, they're thinking like, bro, what do you want from me, lady? What, what do you truly want from me? Cause I mean, uh, but look at you, you know what I'm saying? And also a lot of men think about this because they're wondering about their protection, the protection of themselves, the protection of their possessions. They're thinking like, do you want me for the things I have or do you want me for me? Because a lot of men do get played out here for the things they possess and not what they possess on the inside, all right? It's a lot of heartbreaking out here. The next thing that a good amount of men think about is when they see you, they wonder if you have a roster. And now for those who don't know what a roster is, a roster is a set or a group of players, potentials, prospects, besides you. These, this group of dudes or, or whoever, whatever it is, are outside of you, but she's also talking to them. There are also options outside of you. So a lot of dudes wonder, am I truly the only one that you're talking to? And in most cases, you're not because you're in the dating process. She's dating too, just like you are. She's trying to figure out the right person for her. And you're not always going to get it on the first shot or the second shot or the third shot. So sometimes their options linger around. But we're thinking about that because as a man, we want to be the best 
that we can possibly be. Our ego does not allow us to comprehend you having any other options outside of us because we are the best. We're trying to be the best. We're trying to show you that we are the best. Therefore, we need to act on that. But before we able to do that, because this is the beginning stages, we're wondering, dang, did she got a roster? Especially if you're the, the woman of his dreams, man. Think about it. If you're the woman of his dreams, you, you're you attractive. Your personality is beautiful. You're beautiful on the outside. You're just a beautiful woman. So if he sees all this goodness, gracious, and mercy on you, he knows that other men see it as well. All right. So he's wondering, a lot of men wonder, not all, do you have other options? Another thing that men think about in the beginning stages when they're trying to pursue you is how can I hmm, get to you, show you that I want you, show you that I really, really like you without pushing you away? How can I do this without doing too much? And here is an important step for us because now we have to figure out your communication style. Everyone has a different communication style. Some people like to text more than call. Some people like to call more than text. Some people like to FaceTime more than texting and calling. Some people like to see you. Some people like to hear you. And then you have some people who wanna see you in person more than any of those things. Put all the technology aside. They wanna see you, they wanna meet you. They are old school, old fashioned, which I love because before all this technology stuff, you actually got to meet people. Like you don't even know who these people are online no more because everything's fake now but you actually got to meet people, have like real conversations, like, you know, like how it always has been, you know? But anyway, everyone has their own style of communicating, communication, and in expressing their like to you. So as a dude, a lot of dudes go through this in the beginning stages of pursuing you because they're trying to figure out what's best for you. Because if they text a lot more than what you like, then you can push, they can push you away. Or if they call you a lot more than what you're ready for or what you're comfortable with, that can push you away. But that is why communication is so important because he needs to ask, hey, like, what would you rather have? Would you rather have me texting, calling, FaceTiming? Would you rather go out on dates? Would you rather go out some more? Like, what's, what's good with that? What's good with you? What do you like? So it's all a risk, of course. This, this, this thing of trying to figure out people trying to get to know people is all a risk, but you have to make sure that she's worth the risk. But that's what men are thinking right now. They're thinking like, ah, I hope she doesn't take this the wrong way, but I'm just trying to figure out the best way to talk to you. What is the best way to figure you out? What's the best way of communication? What is your communication style? What is your love language, right? How can I show you that I want you without pushing you away? All right, so the next thing that men think about in the beginning stages of pursuing you is real talk, why are you single? Son ain't adding up. Son, something ain't right. Something ain't right. Why, why are you single? Are you crazy? Are you low key psychotic? Do I need to Google you? I'm gonna Google you anyway, but do I need to Google you again? Do a deep search on you? Because the way I see you, your personality, your style, your beauty, your smile, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you smell, you can cook. How are you single? How? Because you are a necessity to the world, especially the world of men. You are gold. You are a treasure. So how are you single? Because there is no way. Like what? That's what we're thinking. What, what is going on? Is it your fault or was it his fault? How did he lose this bag? How did he fumble this bag, which is you? Or are you crazy? Are you going to be accountable and tell me that you're crazy? All these things are going in our heads, when you, especially when you are everything that we look for in a woman. Something ain't right because there should be men falling over you because the way you are, you're perfect to me. Now you may be laughing, <laughs> but this is the chaos that goes in and out, that goes on in our heads in the beginning stages. Like, I gotta figure this out. Something ain't right, something ain't adding up. 
<laughs> All right, so let's go to the next step. The next thing that men think about when it comes to the beginning stages of getting to know you, uh, of wanting you, and the chaos that ensues in our head during this process, which is, is she into the things I'm into? Because, you know, similarities in, 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 in likeness and dislikeness is very important, man. She may not like the things you like, or I may not like the things she likes, or she may like the things I like, which makes things even easier and better. Cause now we have things to talk about. We are on a common ground. We can start off fast. We can laugh. But if she don't like the things I, I like, if she think my stuff is geeky or, or, or too much or weird, it can make things a little weird because now I have to explain myself and that just makes things weird. Now I feel like you're, you're gonna never talk to me again. Now I feel like you're gonna push me away or I'm pushing you away. There's a disconnect now. There's some rigidness to our process now. You know, we think about these things hoping that you like the things we like, that we have some kind of similarities because it makes things a lot easier and it makes things better, man. It makes things sweeter. Like you ever watch a show, right? And you're a big fan of a show and you meet this other person and they watch it too. And the magic that happens right after y'all figure out that y'all are a fan of the same thing, it sparks off. There's a fire explosion. Like what? You watch Game of Thrones too? Oh man, let's get to it. Let's get to talking. You know what I'm saying? That, that excitement that you get, that warmth, like, oh my gosh, you like the same thing I like? That is amazing. That is an amazing feeling and that's a, 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 a miraculous icebreaker. To have similarities is great. So we're thinking like, man, I hope we, we have something similar. Because there's cases where you meet a, a man or a woman and they don't like anything you like. And now you're like, bro, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna, like, we don't, we have no similarity. Like we don't like any, like anything that, what, how, what are we going to do? You know, especially in the dating phase and in the beginning phase, because that's the, the, the time you're, you're trying to get comfortable. It's very awkward, but man, when you have that icebreaker of similarity, unbeatable. So let me tell you about another thing that men think in the beginning stages of trying to get to know you and why it is so chaotic in this process. And that is, I pray that she could be a good difference to me. I really hope that she is a breath of fresh air because to put the funny talk aside, a lot of men go through the same things when it comes to relationships. Now, this could be self-inflicted as well because they're in the same environments, which leads to being and meeting the same type of woman or the same type of people or friends and or it could be them just attracting the same type of situations in their in, the, in their relationships, the same type of issues, the same type of problems. And now they're thinking that all women are the same. Vice versa, when you hear women say all men are the same because they're meeting the same type of men. And now they're thinking that sculpts and molds their perception of the other gender as them all being the same, which is totally not true. But man, when I see you, when I see you, woman, and, and, and I'm hoping and I'm praying that you can bring me a, a, a breath of fresh air, that you could bring me a great positive difference, something that's different from everything I've been through, everything I've been with, everything I loved or was attracted to. When you bring me that breath of fresh air, that is game changing because I've never felt this before. I've never experienced this before. You are different. You are different. I need this. Now, this is going to make him more attracted to you. This is going to make him want to pursue you even more because you are healthy to him, right? You are literally one of a kind, different. And sometimes that's hard to handle, but for both men and women, when they meet someone who is a breath of fresh air, who is totally different, who brings, who, who changes the game for them because they never experienced this before, right? It's kind of like when, uh, just, just imagine aliens coming to a planet, to, to the planet Earth and they don't know our language. They've never seen us before. They don't know our customs and the things we eat. They're shocked. They're scared. You know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like when we meet a woman that is totally different, a game changer. So we're hoping during this process and in, in these beginning stages of meeting you, we're hoping that you are different and a different and a good type of different. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the same thing again. We, I don't I don't want to go through the same thing again. Please be different. 
in a good way, I'm open to value. I'm open to enrichment from my partner. I want that. Please be that. That's a healthy way of thinking. That's a healthy one, all right? So I hope y'all enjoy my video because this, this, these are just six things that we think about. I only pick six. There's plenty more because there's different type of men, but overall, this is some some of the general six things that a lot of men think about in the in those first stages of, of getting to know you, man, and wanting you. And it's crazy up here. Straight up firestorm. Nuts. Fireworks, bomb explosions, all that crazy loud stuff, right? Like, especially if he's a good dude, like he's trying to get some, you know. Just, just remember these things. It's a lot going in this head, right? So, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see y'all on my next video. Thank you for coming by again. Always appreciate it. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.